And what you're then looking at is how we then move higher. And what the bun's done is it moves higher in blocks, basically. And each of these little blocks, once you get the break of the block, it then trades back to the top of the block, generally, apart from this one final one. Now, the key thing here is it's not to say that you know, you, you've got to try and play the break out of these blocks. What's happening is the price action in all of these blocks is very, very muted. You get to the top and it shows no initiative to buy. You get to the bottom, it shows no initiative to sell. So recognizing that allows you to then play these little blocks with a directional bias. Your directional bias is gonna come from the fact that we've had this failed attempt lower on the profile. We've had the market move back through VPOC. So once you've seen that, your bias is then to the upside. It's then just a case of being patient with the move. Observing the price action, you can see that very little happens when we get to the top, but your bias is to the upside. Therefore, as you get to the bottom of ranges, you can execute buys at the bottom of all these ranges. As long as you're patient, you do then get the move out of the range, even on this block right at the top, which is very, very slow, and as we said, for quite, quite a few hours was very slow. As long as you were patient in buying it towards the bottom of the range, to the bottom of that block, you did eventually get your move out. Now the fact that we closed back inside get it, is going to get you out of the trade. So you're likely to be end up getting out of the trade there, but nonetheless, you were still in it to take that trade on. So the lesson really from this sort of blocking higher type situation, particularly on a low volume day, is that it's not about taking the breakout of the trade, it's about using the overall context to allow you to stay out of certain trades, breakout trades, but allow you to stay in directional type trades. So use that running out of energy at lows to keep you in the trade. All of this move as well, just to help out, delta continues higher. So it is still, it's keeping you in the trade. You, you've got to take all of the little clues from the delta moving higher, the blocking, the running out of energy, and that allows you to take on these passive trades where you do have to be very patient on them. So the top trade in terms of not being overly active, usually we talk about top trades, sort of breakout type trades. This is one where being inactive is actually a more positive thing and you're basing that on the particularly low volume for the day and you're also using the direction from the clues that you've had earlier in the day as well as the profile clues from the rejection on Friday as well.